In my last video, we specifically talked about Canva Magic Edit. We didn't really focus too much on Canva Eraser, so today I want to provide you guys with just a very quick demo specifically on Canva Magic Eraser. It's pretty cool and pretty accurate how you can eliminate any part of the photo or image you want just with literally erasing that portion of the photo. Check it out. So I'm over here on Canva right now, and let me just show you how to do this very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and select an image I uploaded on the left hand side underneath my uploads. I'll select this image right here. Now this was an image of me at a golf tournament not too long ago. So what we want to do, click on the photo to make sure it's highlighted with that purple lined box around it. And then the next thing you want to do is hit edit photo in the top left hand corner. Once you hit edit photo, you're going to notice three options show up on the top. The background remover tool, magic eraser, and magic edit. Now one thing to keep in mind, in order to use the magic eraser, that's a part of the Canva Pro plan. However, I highly recommend that you do get the Canva Pro plan because everything you get for the price is incredible and quite frankly it's unmatched with any other app. There's a link in my description. Click that link. At least try the pro plan for a little while. At least to check out all of these new and phenomenal AI technology releases Canva keeps coming out with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select Magic Eraser as my tool. It brings me to a larger box and on the left hand side I can adjust my brush size. As I adjust my brush size, I come back over to my photo and determine what sort of things I want to erase. I want to erase this play button, so hover over this and once you're done, let go. And just by simply letting go, it will go ahead and generate this erase for you. And there it is, it erased it. Now this might not be an ideal example to show you because it did eliminate some of the banner right here. I'm going to show you one more example using a different photo. And so let's just say I want to remove myself from this photo. Again, click the photo, hit edit photo on the top left hand corner and then choose magic eraser. My brush size looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to go over myself right here. Let go. And then now Canva will simply remove me from this photograph. And just like that, I'm gone. That's pretty cool. Now, there's one more really cool thing I want to show you. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and bring this photo back into Canva, the one I just removed myself from. And now I'm going to do one more thing to show you. I'm going to click on the photo, hit edit photo, and this time I'm going to choose magic edit. I'm going to change my setting of where I am from a mountainous region to Joshua Tree to the beach simply by doing this. I'm gonna highlight all these rocks I'm on. Now I'm gonna keep those mountains in the very background. I'm gonna make my brush size bigger so I can get more of an area. Now to get the fine, fine areas, I can bring my brush size down way smaller. I have most of it highlighted. I'm not gonna go into crazy amounts of detail. I just wanna show you guys something really cool. Now that I have it highlighted, I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna make this change and transform from the mountains of Joshua Tree to watch this. I chose Island Beach. Now I have four options to choose from. I don't know why it decided to add a few more people in this photo for me, but luckily on the bottom left hand corner one, there's one by myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. Watch this, I hit done and it did. It transformed that mountainous region of where I was at to a island beach. So I'm still on the rocks and now it has some water coming through. It does look like an island beach. So listen, not so bad. Now remember this Canva eraser too is still in beta but so far so good. It does a really good job and it's productive and efficient for doing some things quickly. It might not get it 100% right every single time. Let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't checked out the video I made recently about Canva Edit, take a look at that too. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know every time a video like this comes out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up, don't turn it back.